Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining me. It is outstanding to have you. My name is Chris, otherwise known as Wolfie. And we are live once again with Massively Overpowered's OPTV, and we are back in Elite Dangerous. And as you can see, I am not alone. Once more, I am joined by the majestic, magnificent, magnanimous Britannia, my very best friend. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, friends. It is a pleasure to be back here in Elite Dangerous with you all upon a very new piece of real estate. Yes. Uh, so, so we have ourselves, as you can see from the image or the screen behind us, we've we've uh, we are aboard the Porg Prime. And what is that? It is our very own fleet carrier. Well, I say ours. It's technically Brits, but you know what? We're, it's 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 shared. It's a shared it experience. It is a squadron asset that I got way earlier than I thought. So, a story for how I acquired this carrier. I'm in a Discord called the Fleet Carrier Owners Club, and part of the thing that they do is called Cash for Carriers, where literally anyone can put in an, an application saying, you know, why they want a. Uh, the five billion credits that they give away every time a winner is picked. And I threw my application in there, literally saying I've been playing since uh, the second day that Elite was released, and I want to use a fleet carrier to help out Pork Squadron. And yeah, lo and behold, last Tuesday, I woke up to a ping in the fleet carrier owners club saying that i had won one of the five billion credit prizes to buy a fleet carrier and that is precisely what i did with the five billion plus the 2.6 billion that i had saved up already i was able to get the fleet carrier of my dreams and it has been amazing an amazing asset to have so far yeah we um we were all kind of nerding out uh when we were <laughs> so 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 first of all obviously a humongous thank you to the fleet carrier owners club for that incredibly generous prize uh contest thing that you that was um astonishing genuinely astonishing and we were all mentally prepared for us to just slowly work up to building up a fleet carrier maybe a couple of years down the line or something like that so so this accelerated our plans pretty significantly, um, to say the I least. I the salute emo, but oh, there it goes. Yes, it thank is. you, Fleet Carrier Owners Club. Thank you very much for that. Extremely generous, and uh, yeah, we um, we immediately started putting it to use. Uh, obviously, we had to <laughs> dress it up and uh, make it look nice and spicy. When we'll be sure to take a we'll we'll, we'll take a look outside uh, once we get going here. Um, and uh yeah we i was personally speaking i was absolutely losing my little spaceship and navy loving mind when we were doing our first jump in it like um just watching that whole thing go down was just uh it was it was beautiful it was genuinely awesome I, the, the maiden vo voyage for the fleet carrier from mizar to avalon was a amazing experience that uh, I've seen the fleet carrier jumps before, but this was, it's totally different when it's yours and you're joined by your friends that you've like worked so hard for this for, and now you suddenly have it. <laughs> and it's seeing just, it live is totally different too. Like I'm sure that's yeah, just, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So a whole new dimension to that. And this opens up quite a bit. Um, we, uh, our operations have, uh, significantly gotten more, more interesting. Um, so anyway, uh, once again, thank you so very much to that group for that prize and running that raffle. That was extremely awesome. So, what are we doing today? As uh, if you were paying attention to the tweet and, and the post itself, we are going to be seeing if there is anything of value out in those rings. Uh, we have uh, parked ourselves outside of a gorgeous planet, I have to say. Like, um... Uh, it is very beautiful. The planet that w this ship, this carrier is sitting next to, is is beautiful. And I'll, and also just to contextualize uh, what a fleet carrier means for this game, basically think of this as like a guild house or a guild hall in other MMOs. Effectively, um, that's kind of like what it is to us. So that's why it's such a big deal. Um, 
It is absolutely a money and time sink to be absolutely assured, but at the same time, it's one of the few things that feels like it's a piece of like the game's world or the universe carved out for you. So it's 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 hard to it's, it, it's things that make an MMO or a multiplayer game sticky are so 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 vital, and this is some of the best glue going. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so true. Like for. For, for as much as I complain, you know, online and offline about Elite Dangerous, like there are just some moments where it's just like, oh, this is oh, this is why I keep coming back. It's true. It's very true. You can love a game and still bark at its faults. Um, but yes, uh, we are going to attempt to do some deep core mining in these rings. Now, I'm led to believe from... Uh, a bit of research that Britt did, the uh, these inner rings are mineral rings, and these outer ones are ice rings. Um, yes. So, ideally, those will have some asteroids for me to sniff out, prospect, and blow up for goodies. Um, uh, deep core mining is a bit different from laser mining insofar as there's a whole lot more steps, and I'm hoping I'll be able to show off that, the deep core mining as best as I can. It has been a while since I've done it. I I flew out and did some decor mining a couple of times. Um, I haven't done it in a little while, but I have done some research and kind of like refreshed my memory as to what I need to do and the steps needed and what I have to look for. So ideally, this should go okay, but we will see. Um, uh, first things first, we should squat up. Yes, we should. Excellent call. All right, so I will go ahead and... Uh... Invite you to the team. There we go. So just to sort of further contextualize what we're doing for those who have never played this game. Um, deep core mining is 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 totally different from, from regular mining. Now, now, mining, if you ever played any other internet spaceship game in your entire life, mining is basically just, uh, you know... Floating your nose up to a rock and firing a laser and magic magic rocks kind of start spilling out of it. Um, and there is that in this game too. Laser mining is a thing. But deep core mining... <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean about the pride of having this thing? Like how sticky this feels? Um, anyway, deep core mining is more involved, and I'll and I'll, I'll sort of walk, talk, walk and talk through the steps as I go. But basically, I have to see if there's any spots where there are asteroids to mine. I have to go into that air, those spots, and find the right asteroid. I have to prospect it, and then I have to place explosive charges in just such a way that um, I can blow the rock apart safely without destroying the goodies and then just harvest the goodies. Um, it's it's a lot more involved, and it's also the only type of mining that allows you to get some of the really, really juicy materials like uh, low-temperature diamonds and void opals and tritium, which happens to be the fuel that uh, powers jumps for fleet carriers. So, you know. Okay, let's... Uh... Head on See, it. everything that Chris explained there makes my brain melt. So, <laughs> my, my, for my ship, I'm going to be heading out in my vulture, just running combat, defense, making sure no pirates go picking on good old uh, Porg 2. Yes. And uh, meanwhile, I will be sniffing for rocks in this, the Chunky Chipmunk Mark 2. The... Uh... A chunky chipmunk Mark One, the first one that I had, is was my very first miner. It's my is a laser miner. Um, this one I decided to fit for for deep core mining, and um, it just seemed appropriate that I should call it a another chunky chipmunk. You know, just also it sort of has a chunky look to it. You know, it's, it's um I I just love Lacon ships so very much. <laughs> <laughs> I do love Lacon's style of ships so, so much. They are wonderful. All right. Okay, are we ready to go? I am ready to launch when you are. Okay, let's launch. Launching.
And before we disembark, naturally, I'm going to take a little quick flight and just kind of get a closer look at our beautiful, our beautiful new ship. Because, I mean, just... Ah, uh, it's wonderful. There it is. There's Porg Prime. It's amazing. And this, and all of the library options was a team effort as well. Yep. Just having uh, everyone chip in on what, you know, what they thought uh, looked good and uh, visibility as far as the landing pads go. It, it was all a team effort and it, that's what really makes this amazing for me. And don't forget to <laughs> don't forget to pan back to the engines. Uh, oh yes, cause... yes, we had to show off the engines. Absolutely, that's a uh, that's an important uh, visual feature. You're right. Yeah. yeah, it's very nice. So, like, vast. I mean, as far as like fuselage is concerned, every fleet carrier looks the same, and and that's okay. But there is some customization, like uh, like like Britt mentioned. She mentioned the livery. That she mentioned the paint, uh, the nose or slash the bridge section. That's totally unique, and as well as the color of the engines, um, which are the appropriate uh, porg orange. If you ask me, it's appropriate. I love it. It's so good. They are beautiful. This ship is gorgeous. Like. So, yeah, the central part and, like, you know, a lot of the wings and engine stuff, like the actual engines themselves, they all all look exactly the same. But uh, it's ours. It's just, this is our fleet carrier. There are many like it, but this one's ours. <laughs> you said it before I could. <laughs> <laughs> As we share a brain cell, that's why. It's true. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and jump into Super, shall we? following your lead all right i'm actually yeah i'll just follow your lead yeah i'm just gonna get far enough away for mass lock to break and then jump into super so i do apologize if uh if i get the steps wrong like i said it has been a very long time since uh, we just got <laughs> i just hit boost and then i we dropped out of mass lock <laughs> like i said it's been a while since i have done this So I hope I'll have had it correct for the most part. Uh, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to kind of fly a little further away from the planet itself. We are uh, we are just outside of Avalon 5 right now. Um, so I'm going to fly out and away just enough so where I can get like a as much of the planet in my view as I can, because I need to use my full system, uh, my, my FSS, my full spectrum scanner, in order to find if there are any spots for, for deep core. So I think that's far enough. Let me just go ahead and slow down, circle back and see if that is. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Let me, uh, I think I should be able to let me get a little more altitude here. Well, altitude and relative to avoid, but, you know. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and enter FSS mode. All right, let's see here. All right, so I got to do an energy pulse here. And let's see. I think I need to actually hang on a second. Let me oops, let me back out and I need to get my gimbals out. Oh no fire groups to find, really. That's uh that's odd. I thought I had those set. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, hang on a second. I I swear I had the fire group set for this thing, but I guess not. All right, so say group one or group two will be. 
Actually, you know what? Group two should be my charge. No, actually, hang on. All right, so I'll put group two as my charge. on fire group one and prospector is group one on fire one then I will want to do group one for my collector limpets and two for the abrasion blasters and I think I want C to be just a, a displacement missile. I understand that I don't need those very much, but uh, all right. Anyway, all right. Let's try this again, shall we? All right. Hmm. I forget how to uh, how I use this. Hang on a minute. It. Hang on a second. <laughs> I apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah, those are, that's for, that's tuning into signals. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's, again, further two news. Ah, damn. Do I have the wrong thing here? Are you trying to light up the rings? Yes, that is exactly what I'm trying to do. <laughs> and I forgot what I need to do that. Detailed surface of oh, a detailed surface scanner. Ah, whoops. Lol. Okay, hang on a minute then. That's I had the wrong scanner. FSS DSS man. Everything just sounds the same. It it does when you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right, give us a minute here. Sorry, and also thank you very much for that. I appreciate the help. Um. Yeah, which oh god this is this is a oh this is a disaster I have to remember DSS is a ship module okay all right so then that probably means I don't have it all right hang on a minute No, I do have the DSS. That's, no, that I do have the DSS. So then uh, you would need to apply to a fire group. Oh, yes, so I would. Ah, okay. Neat. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the D scanner, I need the surface scanner. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's try that again, shall we? So I need to... All right. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. There we go. All right. So firing out probes. See if I can find anything. Hmm. Is there nothing? I don't believe there is. Oops, that landed on a planet. Didn't mean to scan the planet.
Don't think it located any hotspots. Yep, nope. I don't believe it's it either. Nope. You know what? This place does not have any cores to sniff. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? That's fine. Uh, then I think I'll leave it to you to find, because uh, you have a website that shows the good places to sniff at for that. I wouldn't mind taking the fleet carrier somewhere else to do that. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. All right. Okay. Uh, let me just... just need to get out of this view here. Hang on a second. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, let's search then. Hang on a minute. Hmm. All right, so... Closest distance. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna copy this and see if maybe this isn't something I can use. Give me a minute here. All right. Uh, according to this, for what I what I just did a search for. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's literally just a jump away. All right. Oh, sweet. I C Z I R. Actually, you know what? I'll just go ahead and copy paste it for you. I'll copy paste that and put that in the, into our our chat here. Okay. I'll uh, DM you that that uh. There you go. Did you? Oh, okay, cool. All right. Now I just picked a just something out of thin air. I wasn't necessarily looking for exactly the. I it d didn't exactly like look for the. I didn't look for the spiciest rock. I'm basically just trying to make this happen. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, but I will do some closer research as to what better rocks are out there. Yeah. ED now has a Thargoid war, so some systems in the bubble aren't safe. Oh, we're well uh, we aware. We were well aware of that, trust us. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> we know. <laughs> spicy, spicy flowers are spicy. We avoid them. They are very spice. All right. Okay, let's, uh, let's do a quick check of the location itself. Uh, ring to A. All right. Let's see here. My filters are all wrong. Hang on a minute here. There we go. I had to put out a... Uh, I had to put out a, a pulse, I believe. Yeah, and you'll have to scan them in the FSS. Yep. Yeah. I'll go ahead and won't do that because bounds. It's all on my choices. Not great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, see. I'm going to leave that to you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, here it is. Okay, I can see it. If 
Uh, what? Wait a minute. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, damn, why is why is my scanner not working? Hang on a minute. Hmm, I forgot my controls for this. <laughs> well, they're in a uh, ship controls and on their own thing at the bottom. I'm trying to fix mine up now. Yeah, I thought I had these set. Okay. Yeah, I thought I had... All right. Hello! Thank you for having me. Good to see you. There we go. Okay. All right. There we go. Found one. Okay. Now. It. 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 There it is. There you are. Okay. It's an ammonia world. Doesn't look like it's got any rings, though. All right, now I've got it figured out. I remember it's basically like tuning a radio. It's like kind of like. Find it until that little white circle appears. Come on. Come on, little circle. We want to see you. There you are. The graded emissions. Okay, no, that's not what I need. That's not what I need. Yeah, anything on the far left will be signal sources that will avoid. That's about the only thing I remember. Uh, okay, good to know. Thank you for that. Uh, so I assume this is another. Yeah, this is another emission. Okay. So are these the only two planets out here? I thought there was more than that. Yes, there are only two planets out here. Oh, okay. I'm going to look at the navigation. Okay, the second planet is the only one we haven't scanned yet, and I can see uh, you just got it. I just got it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> 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 it's next to Taco Bell by Mars. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> That's where Raxler is, too. Yeah, there you go. Hey. hey. All right. Okay, we have... It is uh, C1132, I believe. Yep, I got it targeted. Okay, let's go. I'm moving out. <laughs> okay, all right. It's like I said, it's been a while. It's been a very long time since I've done this. So I was just 
absolutely derping out, but yes, no, I now we got it. Now we got it. All right. This is the power of the flea carrier, though. Like, Chris is taking the time to go back in and learn all this stuff because of our new real estate. Exactly. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's worth it. It is worth looking like an absolute goofball to the veterans that might be watching if it means that our flea carrier can get the goodies and I can improve. And just it's it's that's it's a learning process. Listen, those veterans, they can sit outside our fleet carrier and I'll just turn off docking access for anyone except my squadron. <laughs> How long is it since, since I played? It's only as far as actual playing. It hasn't been very long at all. Like only I streamed the game a couple a few weeks ago actually for during a uh, Christmas week. Uh we we were doing the we were doing the presents delivery. So it hasn't been that long since I played. How long has it been since I've done any of the oh i'm about to go flying hey chill out how long has it been since i've uh done any of this mining stuff well <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the real question so i had to stop answering your question for a moment because i needed i was getting slurped up by the gravity well i was about to do this the circle of shame all right Let's get a little bit closer and then enter into the DSS as opposed to the FSS. Does look promising. But we shall see. Also very pretty rings. You know what? This is a pretty planet, all things considered, yes. All right. Uh, am I in... There we go. I'm in the right I'm in the right one. So, let's fire off a probe. Let's see what we got. Ah, here we go. We have a, we have some we have some goodies. Okay. Neat. All right. Is there any goodies in this in uh, in this thing here? I believe I missed it. Well, there's one over there. I assume the probe hit all of them. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay. So now that we've done that. And then sneak in a little bit closer. There's an Alexandrite hotspot. You know what? What is Alexandrite going for? I'm just going to do a quick curious. I think the left menu shows the hotspots if you rem if you remember correctly. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I think you're right. It should be on my contacts list then. Oh no, um, is it under points of interest or asteroid clusters? Alexandrite, uh, average sell price is 210,000 credits. Hey, all right. That ain't bad. At least it'll be a little bit worth our time. Absolutely. Uh, okay, the, yes, uh, I have the Alexander hotspot. It's uh, under points of interest if it's not filtered through. So I will highlight the first... Oh, there's a tritium hotspot, too. Ooh. We got void opals, we got Alexander, we got tritium. Oh, my. Oh, my. This is actually a pretty good location. All right. I uh, want to get some tritium? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I am targeting the tritium hotspot. That is over this way. And so basically we just fly into that area and it'll drop us out of super. Um, I don't have... Um, Do you not have it? Hang on. Interest, you said. Yeah, it's under points of interest. Yeah, I don't have it, so I'm, ju I'm just going to follow... I'm just going to follow your wake. Oh, okay. Okay, you can do that? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, cool. 
It probably doesn't show up in your list because you didn't do the uh, surface scan. Now that I think on it. Oh, oh probably not. So actually, that makes <laughs> sense. Like ship for pew pews, not sniff sniff. <laughs> <laughs> And once we break into this, it'll drop us out. And here we are into the asteroid field. I see you awake. I'm coming in now. Hello. Hello. All right. So now... So now is where we go to, I believe, the first fire group as my... Oh, I have to put the pulse wave out. Hang on a second. I'm going to set the pulse wave to one. And prospector to two. There we go. All right, so... All right, so now I'm just going to... Well, I didn't get close enough. Hang on a second. <laughs> I'm a little too far ahead uh, above the, the rocks. Whoosh. I haven't got any ship scans yet. I have a couple. Oh, yeah, I see a couple of ass scouts. All right, so what I'm looking for... As a specific, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I was just gonna say I'm not gonna go hunting, but let me know if you get someone attacking you or okay. sniffing you. Right. Oh, I I have an empty hull, so if even if they scan me, they're probably not gonna open fire. But you know, if things go wrong, I'll let you know. Happy. So I'm pulsing to see if I can find something light up, nice and bright and yellow. So far, all I see is blue. <laughs> Here, tritium, tritium, tritium. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, did we go out of it? No, we. Hang on a second. It's still saying a tritium hotspot is. No, we're in this hot spot, aren't we? Sorry, I'm getting confused by my targeting, I think. Yeah, right now you're just locked on to the destination lock for it. That's what I thought, okay. Kind of what I figured, but I wanted to be sure. Yeah, I just got scanned, but nothing of value in my hold, so they're not attacking me. No aggression yet. This is really pretty though, like honestly, like it's kind of neat. It's fun to fly through. It is, right? Like you could totally hot dog out here if you really wanted to. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what? Oh, I, oh, I took a screenshot, but I didn't have my market connector on so it's just a regular screenshot i wanted it does a thing where it changes it to a usable file type oh okay i want i'm trying to take screenshots because like i'm having a blast flying formation behind you and just following your movements nope oh, i see something lit up Ooh. i don't know if it's bright enough but uh Ooh, that is looking promising. Okay. Oh, boy. That is looking very promising. Yeah, that seems to have the right color. Age of Myth, hello! How are you? Good to see you, friend. Thanks for stopping in. 
Yeah, I believe this is going to be one that we want. Let me get a little closer and fire off a prospector node, a uh, prospector limpet at it. Let's see what we got okay. here. Got an ash scout nearby, but it looks like they're just doing the, the non mound So I believe you're clear. Okay, back up. Just got scanned. I see him. All right, let's see what we got. Yep, I'm being accosted. Coralie? Yes. Let me just make sure. Yes, Coralie Shravo, that's the one. Alright, right, I'm on it. I'm on the attack. Also just Okay. Everything good? I'm fine. <laughs> I just, I thought you sound almost bored. <laughs> so, uh, if I may talk about my ship loadout for a moment. Absolutely. So, this vulture is my baby right now. Uh, I've got the vulture comes with two large hard points and in. In my right side, I have an efficient, oversized, engineered beam laser. And in my left, I have a short-range, high-yield cannon, which, base, which when the cannon hits the hull, there's a cone-like hitbox that uh, explodes out into the ship and damages any modules inside it. Uh, with that, I have uh, vi my engine, my shields are engineered to the max. I've got a bunch of Guardian shield reinforcements, and I'm at grade three engineered dirty drive, dirty drag drive thrusters. So, long long story short, this thing is a beast. It turns fast, and it can take a lot of damage, and it does. It. As long as if you can stay behind a ship, you you'll be able to get all the hits you need to destroy a ship, whether you wear them down by attrition or where you whether you knock out and then keep hitting their power plants until they explode. That's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Okay, I think I've got my fire points the way I want them. So fire group three is set to the actual seismic charge portion. Which is what we're going to want to do now, because uh, because we have a uh, because we have some uh, we have some we have some fissures. So the fissures themselves have different strengths, which kind of so I understand it kind of corresponds to how strong you want the seismic charge to go. We will find out. I'm going to give this one a high charge. Are you are you clear of contacts right now? I am. Okay, I'm gonna take some time and uh, salvage what's left. Okay. Well, there's some surface tritium on this rock. Ooh. Okay, this is a higher pressure one. Hang on a second. Where is it? So the time is click. Hit, the time the the timer. I'm on the clock now because I fired off a seismic fissure. Okay, so I want those bars to hit the blue section. This is low strength. So I think I'll just... Oh, close. I think one more low, and I should be okay. Oh, here we go. Or is that what I just hit? I think I just... I think I just dinked that one, actually, yeah. Here we go, there's another low strength one. So it's like, I think it's like a minute in order for everything to get set. Okay, come here. I took the long way around to this fissure, but that's okay. It's fine. This is a low. 
Oh, just a little boop. All right. We are ready. Okay. Hey, what you doing? You're going to want to stand back, actually. <laughs> I'm behind you. I'm good. Okay. Shields up. Stand back. Clear the blast zone. Okay, where is... Oh, I get the countdown too, dope. You do, yeah. There's uh, the... The most beautiful sound in video games. I just... I <laughs> love that. I love that. Alright, I forget what button is my cargo scoop. <laughs> Hang on a second. Yes, that's the one. All right. And now I just got a target. Oh, there's void opals. This rock has void opals in it. Ooh. And there's some. Yeah. Hey, hey. Okay. Phoenix D Fire says, always reminds me of the mines that Jenga Fett uses in Attack of the Clones. The seismic charges, I know exactly what you're talking about. They're all, that, that's a great sound. It really is. And just plus, like, um, the amount of dust that's kicked up uh, because of this is so good. It's so good. Visually speaking, so cool. Incredibly cool. Honestly, I could never see myself doing this, but I'm so happy to just be here supporting you. Yeah, I appreciate it, truly. So, I'm just going to wait for my, my robots to do their thing. And that's kind of it. That's brass tacks. That's, that's sort of what what it is. Like, um... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hmm? I, I being in this cloud cools my ship. I have ice forming on my. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. You're right. Yeah. Well, I believe this is. I assume this is an icy formation. So that makes sense, actually. Oh, I use this to just hide your heat signature. That's great. I love that. It's amazing. Oh, that's the tritium hotspot, right? Oh, so I'm sorry. Hang on a second. I'm targeting the wrong thing. Glad I wore my sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happens if I go into silent run? Oh, well, that was a mistake, but that's okay. Was it? <laughs> yeah, because my huge shields that I... that are so big, they're going to take forever to come back. Oh, no. I nuzzle the rock, it's fine. Yeah, it's going to... Why do I always make this mistake? <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, my <laughs> ship takes 3 minutes and 40 seconds to go from no shields to back to 50. <laughs> I just love that. I just snagged that. That was, that was beautiful. I'm sorry. That was that was wonderful. I apologize. That was just nice. All right. Yeah. There's some. There's some. There's these. Get that void opal. Retrieve my little boy. No. <laughs> no. Okay, I believe there are some other pieces to this boy. Hang on a minute. 
maybe not. I see a uh, there's Yeah, I see a voidable. Yep. I just targeted it. But if you do see something else, by all means. I don't think we're targeting the same void opal. Oh, no? Okay, cool. It helps to uh, put my uh, pips to some weapons if I want to use the abrasion blaster, eh? Get it. Fetch! <laughs> okay, there is the tritium I was looking for. I think. Hang on a second. Hey, one of your boys got the void opal I was looking at. Nice. Get it. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Oh, it's saying no collecting valid trick target. Oh, hang on a second. I think that's. Uh. I believe that's everything on this rock. I think. Hang on a second. Wait a minute. There's another voidable abrasion. Uh -huh. Get it. Doink. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I, I truly enjoy watching this just work. The boys are so good. They're good boys. Yeah, and now I think that is everything. If I... Let me just, uh... Wait. I was wrong. Oh, I see more. Yep, I see another one there. Yep, a couple of them. Right. I'm like a pointer dog. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate you being the <laughs> bloodhound, as it were. All right, so now that I have a load of Void Opals, that means any future skins will probably be immediately aggressive. So yes, probably. I should not nuzzle up against this rock, first of all. I was giving it snuggles. It's fine. All right, let me check contacts list to be sure. It's saying that there's tritium, unless there's, unless I'm, I see there's tritium in the contact lists, right? No, that's the tritium hotspot, isn't it? No, well. No, that's a subsurface deposit. Those are someplace. Ah, okay, they are. All right. So. Hmm. All right. Well. Try targeting one of the tritiums and because I don't see it on my contacts. Okay. This one is one point four nine kilometers out. Yeah. So the one at the top of the list would be the closest, clearly. All right. Let's go in. Close the scoop up. And just a quick check of my inventory. Okay. Uh, don't move. I'm going to get a picture. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I still got a, a good amount of lipids, so we're pretty good. All right. Second...
Okay, you're clear. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm heading this way. Bonk. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a boosty. Power to engines. Whoa, just zip by it. See, it's just sort of like floating in space. Oh, oh. I think I see them too. Weird, right? I don't, I don't get it. Oh, no, oh, no that's, that's your collectors. I'm looking at something. I'm not... I don't still don't see what you see. <laughs> That's so weird. Well, I all right. Well, anyway, all right. Back to pulsing. I'm on your six. Hey, hey, friend. Hey. Nice asp. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done, well done, friend. That was... Thanks. Excellent. I'm Excellent just getting work. all up in that asp. <laughs> all up in that asp. Oops. I smacked that asp. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like how you paused for a moment. It's like, should I say this? Should I not? <laughs> I appreciate your attempted candor, but I I, I, I have found the line. the line. I have crossed the line. I endeavor not <laughs> to cross the line again. Let's smack that ass. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, oh, I love you, friend. I love you too, friend. <laughs> smack that ass. <laughs> <laughs> just to make it really safe we just have to put put like a pop on the p at the end right yeah yeah asp asp <laughs> now i'm curious what vodopoles are going void opals are going for are you able to do a check i i, I can do a check Thanks. Hey. Void opals. Uh, there's a place near Avalon that's uh will buy them. Uh, for 150k. Eh, it's not as good as what we were originally looking for, but that's all right. That was a. Uh... We're just looking for Alexandra, just on an absolute whim, because it was the first on this list that I said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alexandra, I, if I look at the price again, near Avalon, uh, two hundred twenty-three thousand. Yeah, that's money on the table. That's all right. I am not seeing any any boys. Not yet, anyway. Now, this is kind of like the uh, the the double-edged sword of of uh, deep core mining. It was like you know, regular laser mining hotspots. You just fly in and and you know, pretty much good to go. It's a lot. It's a lot less involved, but also I I don't want to necessarily say it's less interesting, but it's not quite as interesting as Deep Core, in my opinion. This is the kind of stuff I like. All this 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 uh kind of more involved and it just keeps me much more invested in general. Also, you know, I can fly upside down while I'm pulsing for rocks. And <laughs> <laughs> is there an upside down in space, though? There really isn't, which is why I feel okay with doing exactly what I was doing. See, I'm not... Oh, we have a couple of lights. Here we go. Hang on a second. 
I think this one, yeah, this guy right ahead of me, that's looking the right color. Yeah, all right, here we go. Okay, let's get in nice and pretty close and prospect. I go for a round, a, a patrol round. Alrighty, copy that. <laughs> it's just the same asp. <laughs> Al Armstrong's just mining away. Okay, so what do we have here? Didn't catch what it had here. Hang on a second. Core detected Alexandrite. It is Alexandrite, okay. Nice. Okay. All right. In that case, this is the good stuff. There's also tritium on there as well. Uh, yeah, I do see a surface tritium. Okay. Go ahead and blast that off real quick. Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> hmm? I just found it. I just found a. Oh. oh. <laughs> One of your boys is getting it. Okay. I guess that must have been the one you blasted off, but I just saw tritium flying around in space. I was going to grab it, but then one of your boys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should probably open my uh, my cargo hold. So the boy can deposit it. There's low temperature diamonds on this rock, too. Ooh. I believe if that. Oh, no, that's low temperature diamonds further away. Beg your pardon. Never mind. All right, I think I'm at a point where I can calmly start going back to planting charges. So this is a high strength. Let's go ahead and start up big and tasty. Okay. You are another high strength. Ah, crap. Missed. How did I miss? Wow. That takes skill. My Olympic went pop. These things happen. They live to die. Quite literally, they really do. That was your seismic charge warhead that popped. Yeah, I fired, miss, I misfired. There we go. This rock is being spinny and weird. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's spinning out of the way. Stop it! How dare you? There we go. Alright, now we planted. Alright. Okay, there's another high power one. Okay, I want to try to find something a little lower now. Do a medium on this high. Okay. There is average. Okay, let's see if I can go low on this one. Ah, there we go. Okay, clear the f clear the rock. I'm clear. What's the safe distance? Honestly, not sure. <laughs> That's okay. I think a kilometer and a half out should be okay, but put your shields up just in case.
All right, ready? I'm clear. Detonating now. Ten seconds. I'm about two kilometers away. <sighs> two kilometers out is safe. You got a sensor disruption. That was cool. I know, right? <laughs> My. There we go. Okay, we'll just kind of hang out here, wait for my boys to scoop up the treats. I'm going to match the spinning of this rock below me. All right. I think I saw some surface alexandrites. Yeah, this one here. Okay, so... Are you alright? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, yeah I'm to trying to play, play around with the camera, and uh, when you detach the camera, the, contr the controls on the keyboard shift to controlling the ship, and I was running away somewhere. Uh. Off, off frame, and I was just like, ah, no! So, uh, you know, I just reacted as normal humans do. Of course. That is exactly the sound that normal humans make when they're sp spinning like mad. Totally. Is this just regular floating Alexander or is that a surface Alexander? What, what, what are you? That's a surface deposit. That's what I thought. That's just being a jerk. There we go. <laughs> Nuzzle the rock. Smooch. There's another surface deposit. Would help if I was any good at aiming. There we go. Alright, I think that is all of the Alexandrite here, as far as I can tell. Do a quick sweep. I'm targeting one. Okay, hang on a second. My, my, limpets, my limpets are about to die, so... There we go. Just needed to be sure that I had a limpet to get the goodies. All right, you're targeting one, you said? Yes. All right. Ooh. Rock nozzles. Rock nozzles. Ah, there it is. Thank you. Get it. <laughs> okay, so how much do I have in my inventory now? Still have my guardian stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we know what's in your inventory so that you can offload that to the carrier if you want. Yeah, let me check here. Uh, materials. Materials? No. Be materials. No, just be inventory. All right. I have uh, 11 whatever of Alexandrite, 13 of Void Opals, and that's it. I didn't have enough tritium to refine it into something that I could use. Because there's some in the hopper, but not enough that I could actually, like, find it. Oops, did I just empty that? Oh, well. You did. Lol. Literally Go everybody... You... Go ahead. Uh, I, I feel like literally everybody does that, does that at least one time. <laughs> yeah, it's true. 
Um, so is your inventory full then? Don't believe so. Hang on. No, uh, I still got some room for at least one more rock. Okay. I think I have enough room for one more rock if you're good for that. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Then one more rock we shall find. Uh, what are you thinking about the viability of this? I'm going to need to do a bunch of it, but as far as viability, yeah, this is great. Okay, cool. I uh, was, I, this is the first time I've ever, like, found tritium. So I, and I think I only got picked up, like, the one unit of it. And that one unit in the hopper, I was like, before I just jettisoned it like an absolute moron. <laughs> um, it, it was like maybe about 51%. So, and I'm not really that's sure how bad. much, yeah, it's not bad. So like, I, presumably two units of raw tritium would yield however many units of refined. Oh, here we go. We have some... Also, your cargo scoop's still open. Yes, it is. Thank you. Yeah, I think I saw some light. Yeah, I have some lights up ahead here. Okay, we have possible new rock dead ahead. Maybe. Are you a good friend? Are you sniffable? Might be. That looks like the right color. Wait. Popcorn shape? Why is only a little bit of it lighting up? Hmm. Oh, hey, I almost forgot because this thing has the industrial lights on. Oosh. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll prospect it and see if there's anything in here, but, um... Doesn't look like there's anything in this one. Okay. No, oh, bromelite crystals and then 1.5% tritium. Ah. Damn, it's weird. It lit up, or part of it lit up. So maybe I'm close? Interesting. Alright, well, the search continues. Keep running around and sniffing. Sorry, what? A good rock is hard to find sometimes. It is. There's another dull one. So I assume this one doesn't have anything. Yeah, I don't think this one's got anything either. It's not fully lit up. All right. Maybe it was partially lit up because it had that little bit of tritium inside it. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Like, it doesn't have, like, a core. All right, I have a couple of more lights up ahead here. I have a few lit up. Hang on a second. I think this one... Actually, there's a couple here that seem to be maintaining a light. Possibly. Ooh. Actually, no, this one dead ahead in front of me might have something. Hang on a second. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's just partial. Never mind. These are all partials. Damn. Yep. Okay. False alarm. I 
want to find rocks to explode. Ooh, there's a few more lights. Possible partial. Yeah, I think these are partials. Hmm. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just such a goofball. <laughs> I, 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 oh, it's one of my favorite things is flying formation, flying and just when you're straight, just turn off flight assist and have a little fun. Have a little slide. A little, little slip and slide, it's a treat. <laughs> I just saw like a little bit of your wing in my cockpit. I didn't get all of it there. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a whole bunch of partials here. I'm here, little rocks. I want to extract your insides. <laughs> Borg Squadron, I want to extract your <laughs> insides. Your insides. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can be brutal to rocks. They're they're minerals. They they are unfeeling. Mm-hmm. We're allowed. They're allowed. <laughs> oh, hang on. Might have a full light here. About to actually start to call it, but no? Well, maybe that's a partial two. Damn. Because it lit up initially on a on a distant scan, but now that I'm getting in close, I think it's partial only. Oh. Ooh. 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 <laughs> it's actually funny. You fired your laser at the rock I was looking at. I know. I've been. I have your stream up on my second. Oh, you screen. do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that makes sense. Hang on a minute. I mean, I'm remotely watching your perspective, Porg 2, so that I'm always abreast of the situation. Very kind also, of you. Also, we... <laughs> Damn it, it's another partial. Hello, Deviant Fish. How are you? Good to see you. I mean, it was a very large partial, but it's still partial. I want them, I want them glowy rocks. <laughs> All my best, all my best friend, hot dogs around me, just you know, as is as is the commanders want. She is the leader of Pork Squadron, so you know she's allowed. It's a great way to practice FA off flying. You know what? That's a good point, actually. <laughs> I'll give it a few more, a little bit longer, and then I'll we'll we'll head back to uh, I'll head back to the prime. Copy that. At least for the stream's sake. Yeah. But um, this was it was nice to get back into this, honestly, genuinely, and like. And I, I'm sure that I'm not doing this as optimally as I sh could be. Like, there is one video I watched that actually like suggested to use the uh, the surface, uh, the uh, one of the, like the uh, the the camera view, in order to like kind of get like a wider field of vision while you're doing pulses, which actually makes a lot of like mechanical sense, but. At the same time, sometimes suboptimal is more fun to me. It's weird. It's it's weird. Like, and then again, I am the sort of person who plays like 
the kind of MMO class that's like not in the not the hottest in the meta or or something that's like objectively more challenging. For Torg Squadron, Elite Dangerous is a marathon, not a sprint. Yes, absolutely right. That's a great way to put it. I've been I've been playing this game, I wanna say near or over ten years and fleet carriers were added only in the last two years and I already have one. Thanks to some luck, no doubt. But yes, very know, good luck. <laughs> I was I was also like mentally preparing myself for like what I could possibly do to earn that money to get a fleet carrier of our own one day. Mm -hmm. And I would have, I would have saved up the same amount that I had when I bought this fleet carrier, which was around seven point six billion, and I was only at two point six billion. So I was just like, all right, I do want a fleet carrier, but it's just gonna take a long time. So, like, the fact that we have it now uh, is a blessing. And I think it's a great step into, like, having having Elite Dangerous be more accessible to uh, Chris and Jamie, who, with respect, are not as into this game as I am. And uh, we can, if they want to jump in and just do some mining, they can just... I can move my fleet carrier somewhere and we just do it. Yep. If we wanted to do, you know, a whole uh, trade route for a community goal uh, and just fill up a fleet carrier and then sell it to the CG, we're going to do that. Yes. We have that option now. Like, it, it makes a lot of what we like to and want to do way easier to get into. Exactly. Uh, for for my, speaking for myself personally, there was a station I was at two jumps away from Avalon that I put my vulture at because it was the closest station to a hazardous site. But now with the fleet carrier, I can literally move my ship anywhere that anywhere near a planet with rings, and you know all three of us will have something to do, whether it's bounty hunting or mining. Exactly, and that's that's uh, it's wonderful. It's it really has locked a lot of this down, and it, it does. Like on the one hand, I understand why fleet carriers are so expensive. Like you know, there's a reason for that to be very pricey. It makes sense, but at the same time, like the fact that it opens up so much is both wonderful that we have it, and a little. It's it's kind of sucks that others don't necessarily have that, but you know, then again, this game always felt like one of those games where you set a goal for yourself, and you like like you said, it's it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint. You walk towards it. Um, and two points I want to make to in response to what you just said. Something that hasn't been mentioned is that you know we bought for all the services that the fleet carrier has was 6.3 billion altogether but the carrier also has an upkeep that will automatically deduct from your from a balance or two uh, in order to keep it running so there is that yeah uh upkeep that you have to pay um I forgot the other point I was going to make but I think <laughs> it was probably something about how like you know people pursue personal projects uh my personal project right now is outfitting the federal corvette the port protector to do the same job that my vulture is doing just in a heavier capacity yeah exactly that's uh that's, that's what we're looking goal. for yeah that's uh that's a goal yeah exactly uh only liquid oxygen, um, oxygen on this one yeah i kind of it was, it was partial but it was very it was a bright partial so i thought Maybe, but no. All right, I'm calling it. Let's jump. Let's jump out. Alrighty. Uh, gonna nab back to Avalon. Avalon. Okay. Oops. All right. If you uh, begin, yeah, pitch yourself up. You can head out down yeah, through I, the asteroid field. Yeah, thank you.
just to give you a stream that a visualization of seeing someone else jump, I'll do it first. <laughs> a very you know, because uh, I'm a nice. A very generous of you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I am a generous god. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. See? Now you know what it looks like. Yay. Yay. Little smoke trail behind. Or wake trail, as it were. And there you have it. That's, uh... That's, uh... Very, very basic, but that's, uh... That's a deep core mining. And, um... Genuinely dig it. Like, this is... A, a lot of this game for me is both relaxed and focused, which is an interesting thing, right? Like, it takes a lot of attention for me to kind of, you know, know where I'm looking for and what I'm looking for. But at the same time, like, um, I can just put on some, like, music or some, or some, you know, just... Where, why, did that not target? Hang on a second one. There we go. Okay, sorry. Um, I could put on some music and just kind of like, well, not necessarily zone out, but like just keep to you task. Lose and yourself in the minutia. Yes, there you go. Precisely, that's it. Just kind of like get lost in the sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lose yourself in the activity that you're doing. Uh, like for for me, for combat, uh, it's a constant, you know, changing of throttles pulling back of the stick, pip uh, distribution uh, flicking, and trying to, you know, get the most out of uh, the vulture to keep behind the big ships and keep that, you know, big laser and big cannon on behind them. It, it's very much easy to lose yourself in it, and it's what I enjoy the most. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, doing deep core mining just for simple profit was fine enough, but, like, being able to do it as a, as a way to sort of, like, support the the Porg Prime and the Squadron in general, that feels way better for me. Like that's <laughs> that's a that's an even greater incentive. And don't mind not to say that getting credits isn't bad. I mean love getting credits. That's a fine enough motivator. But but at the same time, just having a, a deeper reason for it just is is nice. It's nice to have. It really, really is. Yeah. I'm proud and delighted that we have that reason, and uh, now I'll get to blow up some more rocks for very good, for for excellent, for excellent purposes. It it does feel very different whenever you're going out and doing something for the good of the fleet carrier and the squadron. Yes, a, the, a, a piece of like. Something for the squadron that you can see and interact with in game. It. I, it motive. I think. I think. I speak for both of us when I say it motivates us to want to keep that going and uh, continue having this nice piece of real estate. Exactly. Absolutely. It's sticky. Like I said, it's it's uh, it's something that gets you, you know, emotionally attached to the game. And uh, every MMO needs something like that. That's why housing is such a big deal. That's you know. That's why having Guild stuff is such a big deal. That's, that's why group stuff is such a big deal. Like these, uh, the I'm, things are sticky. The different things are sticky for people, and there's a you have to have a reason to want to to do stuff. I'm going to interrupt this nice thought this nice thought process by saying those two spots that you accidentally marked on the gas giant just look like giant fly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's cute. It's adorable. Yes. But yes, it's it's made a big impact. So, you know, it's really hard to it's really hard to not to overstate it. <laughs> like, 
And yes, granted, that was not a particularly large haul in terms of a mining venture, but, uh, you know, still good. We're also just starting out and learning and getting back into the groove of things for the good of the fleet carrier. Mm -hmm. So now that I've come away with a little more experience and I did kind of like latently remember a few things too, but um, a little stumbling aside, I've come away a lot more knowledgeable and comfortable and that's that's one of the best things about this game for me. I still have a lot to learn and those aha moments, even for something as simple as finding how to sniff at a asteroid belt is is cool that's that's what that's what hooks me love stuff like that that's why, that's why i like space sims so much i am docked on pork prime so cool. i am very slowly moving into position i don't know why the, <laughs> why the I the throttle. It's, it's the gravity well of the planet. Okay, that would make sense. So, uh, so yeah, if you pull away from the planet, you'll and uh, just come back up. You'll be able to come at it a little faster. Oh, it's fine. I'm not too far out. Okay. Got to But I do see your point of dipping out for just a moment. Just got to give it a little more welly than I normally would. <laughs> <laughs> You can put your throttle to 100, just mash the disengage button in time before you rush past it. Exactly. And That's how I'm, I do it. And there I go. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, I'll add this to the... <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> One for the counter. Dying inside. Dying inside. <laughs> Dying inside counts for my death counter. <laughs> There we go. Okay. <laughs> Welcome home, Pork Two. Thank, thank you, Pork One. Probably just turn off my lights. Okay, pad 11. Okay. Time for that slip and slides. Uh, yeah. I uh I arrived at the bottom of the thing. Just following you in free cam mode. Yeah. yeah. This is going to take a while because this ship is very slow on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it is very bad, y'all. It's, um, pitch is fine, roll is great. Just base y'all without my thrusters. <laughs> it's not good. Like, the lateral thrusters are fine, but, like, uh, on impulse, it's very, very blur. It's a chonker. We love our chonker. I love my chonkers. I love my Lacons. I just, I love them so much. Sweet landing. Thank you. And disembark. Ah. That's beautiful. All right, so that is going to be it for today's stream. Thank you so incredibly much to my best friend, Britannia, for hanging out with me and for flying security. That's truly, truly appreciated. 
It was so much fun. It's honestly one of my favorite things is going out with a friend and whether they're helping me or I'm protecting them, it's just honestly a joy to do it. So happy to do it again. Yes, and we will definitely be doing it again, whether on stream or not. Uh, very likely off stream, uh, which is good. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with this. But uh, anyway, thank you once again for everybody for tuning in. And we have plenty more streams coming through the rest of this week. MJ is back. She's feeling better enough to stream at long last, the poor she's thing. She's back and she's better than ever. Heck yes. She will be back later on tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern playing some Adventure Quest 3D. And then Saturday, January 14th at 2 p.m. Eastern, there will be some Guild Wars 2 with MJ. Later on, and then later on the week, on Sunday the 15th at 2 o'clock Eastern, I will be live checking out Tales of Yore, which looks uh, like an absolutely adorable little pixel MMORPG. We're doing another Sure Why Not Sunday stream, so be sure to tune in for all of that. And thank you to everybody for tuning in today, whether you are doing so live or on demand. And thank you to everyone for all the support for, that you provide to Massively Overpowered, whether you are watching the streams or reading what we have to write on the website, or if you're doing incredibly generous things like donating bits to the channel, whitelisting the ads on the site, uh, subscribing to the channel, or if you're one of our amazing Patreon supporters, no matter what you do top to bottom, you are the fuel that keeps Massively OP running. Be sure to tune in later tonight for some AQ3D. Until then, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.